Okay, so in this problem, you're looking to calculate the cell potential for a voltaic cell based on these two half cells. And what I did not give you in this problem, I did not give you a chemical reaction. So you cannot look at the chemical equation and figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. What I did give you, I gave you what the two half cells were, and I gave you the um, cell the half reaction potentials for that. And so you need to remember something that I told you on Tuesday about how to determine which is the cathode and which is the anode. And so what is that very important piece of information? Yes, in a voltaic cell, the more positive um, reduction potential is a cathode. So I wouldn't even write on your paper just say that the one that's positive is the cathode because what if I give you two half cells with two positive reduction potentials? So the more positive is the cathode. And then once you've done that, then it's simply a matter of E cell equals the reduction potential for the cathode minus the reduction potential for the anode. And remember, we're always using, with this equation, we're always using the reduction potentials that are given to you in the table. And so the answer to this, then, would have been that E cell equals a positive 0 0.499 volts. So everyone happy with that? Easy stuff.